Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Admiral Markets webinar. Today is 21st of January 2015. Uh, my name is Nenad, and uh, today we will see and I will show you which market conditions to avoid. So this webinar will be focusing primarily on price action. Uh, it will be pretty much concise and uh, very direct. So we will talk about which market conditions to avoid. So be prepared to look at this uh, webinar carefully. And uh, especially if you don't have a big experience with Forex trading, you might really lo look into these conditions to avoid. As you could see, we got great rates, and uh, dollar CAD, for example, today, if you were following the setup which I posted on Admiral Markets blog in Forex Factory, it has made more than 250 pips, and uh, I hope that you got into dollar CAD trade, because those are the trades which can basically compensate for uh, some losses which may happen because of, I don't know, Swiss National Bank or such days, such price action movement. So I hope that you made money with it and uh, now I will show you which market conditions to avoid. So if you trade, then you should know that sometimes not having a position in the market is equal to having uh, profitable position okay remember that guys I have told many times that to myself that sometimes not having a position in the market is equal to having a profitable position actually I did I think 10 scalps today on GBP dollar and I put it on Twitter also that GBP dollar is bound for selling to rally so if you know where sell zone is, you could have made a handful of pips today, even on these volatile conditions. But let's be concise and let's tell a few things about risk disclaimer, then we can continue with the webinar. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market. By accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with me. Online educational materials are developed by Admiral Marquez, Markets as Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration that the information this session may not be suitable for everyone to get a corresponding information. Charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Admiral Markets UKLTD takes no responsibility for the information accuracy. The analysis represents the personal opinion of the author, it's me, and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for the trade. These are not MUK's opinions, and the website in the video is not the .co.uk website, but the globaluse.com website. Forest is risky business, and this is a personal opinion only, and this webinar is for information and educational purposes only. So, Today's agenda, additional reasons why traders lose money, should we stay out of some trades, and which market conditions to avoid. So, first four additional reasons for uh, new traders to lose money is definitely lack of experience. Many traders think that just by investing into a forex market, think that they can make some money. Well, definitely that is not the case because Experience in forex trading sometimes can make a nice edge uh, from losing a streak of trades and winning a few trades. So it's not just about winning, guys. You know, it's not just about winning every single trade or I know taking uh, every single win and then celebrating. It's about experience of trading in forex market. By visiting these webinars, by uh, watching our analysis, mine and Chris, Chris and mine, by being humble in the market as Dale Pinker said to me on the interview, uh, if you are not humble, market will humble you. So that is definitely the truth. So you always need to be humble when you're trading. Also, even though if you don't have so much experience, 
every single loss you take when trading forex market can inevitably uh, lead you to be more experienced. If you ever played multi, let's say, uh, multiple player online games, MMOs or MMO RPGs, if you know what multiple player or massive multiple player online game is, you know that I, I played it some years ago and you know that in multiple online player multiple player online games MMOs you have experience bar and that experience bar is constantly going from basically being empty to being full once this experience bar is full you advance from level 1 to level 2 and so on this is a good comparison with forex market because in forex market you know that definitely by learning from your mistakes and by watching ongoing trades you definitely will be exper more experienced than ever before and even though if you lose the trade and even though if you lose a big part of your account your experience bar hypothetically speaking will be full so from you will advance from level 1 to level 2 then ultimately you will jump few levels and got let's say to level 10 I don't know how I can describe a maximum level in, uh, of experience in forex market but let's say that maximum level is 100 once you have taken your steps above level 20 you will see that you will still need to learn a lot and accepting the risk and accepting the losing trades you will be even more experienced only when you are halfway to the maximum full-blown trader you will start to notice some things which will distinguish you from being basically a trader which can cope with losses you know in trading it's not always about making profits it's about how you handle losses if you know how to uh, withdraw from a big loss and if you know how you can you can basically take that loss and turn it into a profit then you're on, you're on a good way to become a level 51 because only when when you know how to manage your losses and how to deal with it you will be able to cope with huge losses which can and will in inevitably happen I don't need to remind you on different market conditions you all knew what happened to Swiss we don't want to talk about it anymore but needless to say one example is more than enough and that is that dollar Swissy trades USD Swissy long-term traders suffer a huge hit from let's say being a profitable for for the whole year they they ended in a loss trade or particularly maybe a stop loss that's very bad for psychology of each trader and that is one of the reasons I particularly don't like long-term investments and long-term trades absence of a trading plan is yet another reason for a trader not to be profitable because the absence if you don't have any trading plan that will definitely be your way to potentially a profitable trade trader into a losing trader so instead of being profitable because maybe you are talented to trade in the forex market you will become a losing trader just because you didn't know how to cope with your losses a lack of discipline is also one of reasons for you to be non profitable trader because if you if you know when to trade then you will definitely have a trading plan and you will definitely stick to your trading plan if you don't know what to uh, when stay when to stay out of the trade then you again do not have a discipline you're not following your plan and you will lose 
Unreasonable expectations are also one of the reasons. And I know many traders who are, may, they think that they can make 3 or 5 percent each single month with a low risk. It's not the truth. If you want to make 30 percent in a single year, you need to be prepared for a drawdown of at least 30 percent. So it's not reasonable for each trader to think that they can live without anything just by trading forex market with $10,000 account. That, that's not possible. That's not possible because there will be losing months and you still need to cover from that losing month. And one of, that is, that is one of the reasons why I always suggest low risk trades. So if you, if you trade 0 0.5, 0 0.3 per, per trade, risk per trade, you will be safe in the long run, even if you have a streak of losing tra trades or even if the market basically does not favor you as we could see what happened with those huge volatility spikes on Swiss. No stop loss, also one of the reasons why traders lose money. Trading without stop loss is definitely a huge mistake and should never become a practice of a forex trader. Too many trades, also one of the reasons why traders are losing money. So if you are profitable in a single day, do not try to overtrade. Do not take any additional trade. If you want three out of four trades in a day, that's enough. Don't make any fifth trade. It's enough for you. Don't be greedy. Big leverage is also a big enemy in forex trading because big leverage in a single trade can kill your account in a single day. Again, no need to remind you, Swiss trade, definitely, big leverage. Well, those things can happen in Forex market. And that is why you should trade with low risk. Forget about all other people, all my FX book accounts, all those traders which will tell you I will be making you 100% each year because if he makes you 100% that means he needs to risk 100%. Do you want to trade in forex market? Do you want to be profitable in forex market? Do you want to listen to what I'm saying? If you do then there is a huge experience to you and it will just serve to your own good. All mistakes which I made in trading all those things which made me to lose some trades are basically, I, I, I am a pure and, and only witness to that because most things in Forex market I have learned by my own mistakes. There was no mentor and no trader who, who could taught me back in the days. Everything I did was my own work. Every single losing trade which I did was because of me and every single losing trade was one step closer to the victory. Holding positions too long also is not profitable in the long run. Again, why should I always, but that is the best example out there, dollar Swissy trades. That, this is my opinion. I know that many traders do not like, like to trade how I do, that is intraday trading, but uh, I am again, I again made a proof that even, even long-term trades can be very unprofitable and it's not up to a trader because no one could expect what, what happened with Swiss National Bank. We couldn't knew, we could have known that, okay? So how could we, how could we know that? We couldn't. And basically, that is one of the risks we should be, we should be, basically, uh, we should be taken care of when we start trading. Should we take a huge risk by holding positions too long? It's, it's always up to you. If you want to be a long-term trader, then you, you're not interested in, in price action swings during the day. You just come once per month to look into your account 
and see if it's in profit or not. I just do, I don't know how to trade longer time frames. I I admit that I am not a long time a long time frame trader. I am an intraday trader, and I can analyze intraday moving and intraweek with mid-term analysis. But I just cannot know what can happen in a year or in six months. I am not a prophet. I don't have any crystal ball. And my university, which is economical university, master grade, does not give me any single insight what can happen in six months. And I admit it. I never wanted to be a long-term trader. I love Forex Trill. I love when, when I see each day profits. I love to see my trade going in a profit. It's, it's a brilliant feel. It's a great feeling. But my definite conclusion is I am very happy because I know when not to take any trades. Knowing when not to take any trades is your edge in Forex trading. Is your definite edge in Forex trading. You're limiting your risk. You're basically trading with a trend, but you know when you should not trade. That is, that is great, and that, is, that can serve you really a big time if you just heed my advice and watch for this reasons and market conditions when not to trade. Some conditions should be avoided. We will see which market conditions should be avoided. So particularly now, I'm not talking about any, any uh, I, will not talk, I will not be talking about fundamental reasons for not taking any trades in the market. I will be talking for, from chart perspective from price action perspective so you can see which and uh, which conditions you should definitely avoid okay uh, let's see we know about fundamental conditions so there is no need for us to mention those because we know what uh, those fundamental reasons are so I'm not particularly interested to show it now, we'll, we need to know what chart reasons, what price action movement we should be definitely avoiding. Okay, so now concentrate on those market or so-called chart conditions, okay? Those are centipede wicks. So tooth shark tooth, long candles, especially if you don't know how to use high volatility trading knowledge, which I have been presenting you on the webinar concerning high volatility trading, okay? But if you know how to trade high volatility, then you should be very safe. If you still don't know how to trade high volatility, then guys, please do not take any particular trades if you're not sh if you didn't master this one okay railway without a system which i presented railway can be also very very dangerous if you do if you if you just don't know how to trade railway on the way how i explained so i always advise you to be very very careful if you would trade railway without proper knowledge of the railway, okay? V-shape reversal, very dangerous market chart pattern we should be aware of and where we should stay out of trade. V-shape reversal. So, let's start with centipede wicks. These are centipede wicks. Many longer than usual upper and lower wicks. Just place your moving average 6.12 or 5.13 or whichever close 
moving average, you, you're trading 8, 16, whatever. And if you see weeks, upper and lower weeks, which are basically are riding this moving average lines, then it's called centipede because it reminds on a bug called centipede, okay, which is which can be very dangerous to humans if the some of centipedes are poisonous and if they bit you, if they bite you, you can suffer a big pain and be a very comatose in the next few days. Centipedes are, by the way, natural predators of cockroaches. And by in the nature they are they are dangerous. In forex market centipedes or centipede weeks are also very, very dangerous because you don't know which way you should trade. You are simply you out of knowledge which way you should trade. You will see wicks on both tops and bottoms. Okay, you can see those wicks up, down, up, down. Then it, it looks like a centipede. Look and look, moving average. They are pretty tight together, so they they, they are signaling you range bound conditions. Okay, Th these are range bound conditions, and you can see how price is behaving up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and you will get many false signals. And definitely, if you see this, especially on higher time frames, let's say intraday time frames, stay out of it because those are very dangerous. Stay out of it. Look, up, down, up, down, weeks. Centipede is eating your account. Do not let the centipede eat your account. Those, that is repeating action. Repeating action without any significant trend. So tooth. It's moving, the price is moving, but not in a tight range. Price is not in a tight range. There, are, there is no characteristic high and low, and looks like a saw tooth. So the whole strip of this price action is saw toothing, you see? There are no discernible highs or lows where, where we can trade. The price is making some sort of rounded pattern, but look, it looks like a saw tooth. It goes up and down, up and down, it cannot break support, it cannot break any resistance, but you definitely are not sure where the price will hit, okay? It looks like a saw tooth and it's dangerous, so stay away out of it. It's moving, the price is moving, but not in a tight range. There is also a call shark tooth. Shark tooth is called whipsaw. Whipsaw is very dangerous in forex market. The market makes very quick and sharp highs and lows. So you can see very sharp high, then very sharp low, very sharp high, very sharp low. Up, down, up, down. It's called shark tooth, but I call it whipsaw. You don't know where the price will go. Because the price is moving in a big volume, thick volume, but it goes up and down without any significant move either to the upside or to the downside. Okay? The highs and lows are also quite close together. You can see highs, lows be before the price makes any big jump or drop. Close, 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 sudden drop. Close, close, sudden rise. Close, close, sudden drop, sudden rise, sudden drop, sudden rise. This is whipsaw. Stay out of it. Okay, stay out of it. It's good for scalping, but it's not whipsaw. I will, I will show you at the end of the webinar, Arne, how I scalped GBP dollar today. And that is good for scalping. This is not good for scalping. Because you don't have any significant buyers or sellers. I will show you later. This is not good for trading. Stay away out of it. Shark tooth is not price action trend scalping. It's different. 
whipsaw movement is dangerous, different than standard scalping, so stay out of it. Long candles. Long candles. I, I've, been to, I, I was, I, I've been talking many, many times about long and huge candles. Huge candles show breakout of important levels. If there is no retrace to 61.8 Fib or 78.6 or 88.6 Fib, you just don't trade it. Okay? You don't trade it. Longing or shorting is not suggested immediate, immediately after long candle has been formed. If you remember my webinar about trading in a high volatile market, then you should definitely remember these examples, how those big candles should be traded. Okay? How those big candles should be traded. Once candle is formed, big candle is formed, which has more than 25, 30 pips inside it, the, the bigger the better, you place your Fibonacci and you wait for the candle to retrace. Then you go up or down. If you go up here at this point, you will definitely lose a trade because the movement has already been done here at this big candle. And I know that many traders are tempted to jump in. We just do not jump into a fright train. We need to wait for a retrace. If retrace happens, then you are safe to enter. But you need to wait for an entry very patiently, very, very patiently. If you're not patient enough, you might be stopped out very soon. Because usually, after the price makes a big candle, there is a retracement. If there is no retracement, then you just simply do not enter the market. Okay? Do not enter the market. Railway pattern without the system which I have been teaching you and which I presented you. Railway or railroad is two candlestick pattern with almost the same length. Watch my webinar about railway. It was done this month. And I don't know if it's uploaded, but I'm sure that most of you did watch it. When you see railroad and you don't have the system which you can trade ro railroad with, you should stay out of railroad pattern or railway pattern because sometimes the nature of this pattern can be very, very insignificant if any other fi filters are not met for this particular chart pattern. Okay? So you should definitely be staying out of the trade of railway, railroad pattern if you're not sure how to take any of those trades and you don't have a system to trade it. V-shaped reversal, when you see V-shaped reversal, usually it happens of the strong support. It has a V-shape in it, trying to short it it can be very dangerous because the price may go above most recent highs even breaking into a territory of historical highs on intraday time frames. So we should definitely stay out of V-shape reversal. It goes usually often, uh, it goes usually of the strong support. Shorts are not valid for those trades. And no matter how the trend looks like, shorting on bigger pullback only is the, usually the only good opportunity to take any trades. Okay? Only that, guys. Only then and only that. Shorting on bigger pullbacks only. Okay? Remember that. Now, some tips for you, and then I will show you how you can scalp into the market when fundamentals are aligned with technicals. These are some tips for you. 
So before I, I go with tips, please remember these conditions because I'm not sure that the webinar will be uploaded. So you should definitely pay attention to this. Centipede weeks where market is undecided. We have weeks on both top and the bottom. The market rallies and drops very quickly. It's repeating action. Sawtooth, it looks like a sawtooth pattern. It's always useful for you to have two moving averages on your chart, let's say 6, 12 or 5, 13 or some sort of moving averages which can show you the price action such as this one. No characteristic high low and it looks like a sawtooth. Okay? The market makes very quick and sharp highs and lows. It's called sharp tooth or how I call it, it's whipsaw. Okay? So you don't trade the market when you see whipsaws. Long candles also, if you don't, if you didn't visit or you haven't visited my webinars about how to trade high volatile market, then if you see long candles in both long and short direction, it doesn't matter which direction it goes, if it has more than 35 pips into it, do not take any positions because you should wait for a retrace. If you don't know how to handle those market movements, then stay out of it. Okay? Railway also. Listen to my presentation about railway system. If you're not sure about railway, then again, as I say, stay out of it, guys. It's dangerous if you don't know how to trade. It can be very dangerous. Okay? Please heed my advice. It can only help you. Okay? Then, V-shape reversal, which can be very, very dangerous. V-shape reversal. You know that I don't particularly like any V-shape reversals. And I hate to see when those reversals happen. So no matter how the trend looks like, definitely shorting on bigger pullback only is valid. Only shorting on bigger pullback. And few tips. Guys, I am an intraday trader. Don't need to mention that so many times, but the point is, if you trade intraday, you will be focusing on trend and momentum. For long-term trading, Momentum is not needed. For short-term trading, such as intraday or scalps, momentum is more than just needed. It's uh, crucial for us to make any profits if there is a momentum in the market. So, by following the trend, you will be following big money. Big money is where the trend is. Sometimes we can take counter trend opportunities, but usually we are not sure whether the counter trend opportunity will become a total trend reversal. So this is what I'm talking about. Let's say you're going with a trend. So effectively you can manage your risk. Buy on pullbacks short on any rallies. That is trend trading. If you go counter trend, that means that the price is moving in a trend pattern, zigzag, but uh, taking trades, if they're close to support or close to resistance, as in this case it's close to support, can be risky. Because if you're not experienced and if you don't know how to trade counter trend, you might be in some profit then, the price may again return to a trend and hit your stop loss. When you're trading counter trend, you're effectively going against big money. You can be in some profit, but then if the, if the trend resumes, you will be in a loss. You can secure that by knowing the appropriate counter trend strategies 
And if you use trailing stops with those strategies, there is a slight possibility for you that that previously mentioned bearish move can be a turning point for the next bullish market. So if you entered here and your stop loss wasn't hit and you didn't close your trade, there is always some slight chance that the trend has already been finished and that new trend is emerging. You, if you don't know how to trade during very volatile trading conditions, then definitely, guys, do not trade during that time. You need to know how to trade on very volatile trading conditions. And you can know that if you know price action, because price action is the best tool when you're dealing with high volatility scalping or high volatility price action. Having indicator-based systems does not help in that case when there is very high volatility. So it's best to avoid very volatile trading conditions. Avoid the liquid trading conditions where there is no liquidity, there is usually no big movement, and sometimes your price may get filled, let's say, on a worse level than you initially wanted them to. So stay out of illiquid trading conditions. Do not trade illiquid trading conditions. Trade only when trend is omnipresent. If trend is omnipresent, is good. If there is no trend, then guys, do not take any trades. If there is no liquidity in the market, again, stay out of those trades. No liquidity, very hard for you to make any money. Okay? Very hard for you. Watch your stops. If you know where to put your stops, then you will be definitely safe. And you will have an edge over the traders who do not put any stops. Okay? Now, let's see how we can uh, uh, trade those big market conditions and huge volatility. This is basically pound, and this is what I did with pound today. Uh, I hope that you all follow me on Twitter, because I made three times in a row, I made posts that GBP dollar should be shorted on every single rally. Okay? I also made a, po made a post that 50, 30, 35 is a target if daily low breaks. Now, daily low could break easily, but I know, I'm not sure if there is now big volatility to push the price to 50, 30, but you, you got a point. I cannot remember when I was trading like this. I made 10 or 12 trades on GBP dollar shorts today. And actually, there was some nice mi money coming in from all of these shorts. Now, you know, I didn't use big leverage, but if I use a little bit more of the leverage, because those are no-brainer trades, we could have made some big money. But I'm always sticking to my risk plan, and I always try to be very, very low-risk trader. But today, there, the, the, this today, this price action today, could have been a potentially, you know, when you, when you want just a little bit more of that leverage, because it was so clear. We had Bank of England statement today. MPC decision was in favor of not raising any hike, not raising any rates, so there is no hike rate, no rate hike in the near future. And most of the members were positive about that decision, which uh, is definitely bearish sign because the last MPC meeting, meeting minutes, there was basically a debate over whether they should raise rates, hike the rates or not. Now, basically, as decision was almost unanimous, and that means that those 
bulls, or how I call them hawks, were basically gone to bearish side, to dovish side, and that meant only one single thing, short GBP dollar on rallies. Every single rally, I will be shorting. I don't know, maybe tomorrow I wouldn't, I, I won't trade because of ECB decision, but if price gets back to 51.50, 51.60, 51.62, I will definitely short that out. And tomorrow we will have important ECB decision. I particularly maybe know a potential, potential trade setup, although I don't advise you to trade, but I will post just my opinion about a potentially maybe good trade, but that is only, you know, a potential because I, I will not trade tomorrow. But, you know, readers should know that there might be a chance for a good move when fundamentals are aligned with technicals. On GBP dollar chart we see fundamental reasoning was that there is no substantial or no rate hike at all in near future. Pound immediately dropped to 70, 6, 76, I think, yeah, that was the low 76, but then it was bought. Definitely all of these weeks could have been traded on 15 minutes and 5 minute charts because you know what I've been teaching you. This candle now is a master candle. So this candle is a master candle. This candle should contain all candles inside it. And you just scalp in trend direction. Okay? Trend direction is bearish. We have a master candle. And you just sell every single rally. Now that is up to you where you will sell it. But look how many times you could have sold it. Each of those weeks resembles good selling. And I just cannot remember how many times I today I opened those trades today. But I'd be definitely looking to short again if it goes here or jumps a little bit above it. I will go short again. Now the question Vigantas is asking what I think about dollar cat. What can I think possibly about dollar cat guys? You saw my analysis today. Let me show you if you're still if you still didn't see my analysis, but I, I really hope that you made some money today because we had good movement today. Let me show you. Okay, let me find my trade. Dollar CAD. Dollar CAD now is buy into dips. Okay, buy into dips. This is Dollar CAD and the analysis which I did today was go long here. Exactly at this point the price jumped off POC making huge movement. I think the dollar CAD can be bought into dips but I would be waiting for a nice pullback because now uh, USA traders need to have a good price. I not, I'm not sure that now they have a good price because the price is too high so I would go to buy dollar CAD on retracement and this was the single best analysis, I, 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 I know that most of these analyses are pretty much accurate, but this was the single best analysis which gave us the entry to the pip, 300 pips, 250 pips of a potential profit. Why? Because fundamentals are aligned with technicals. I had a back, I had a wind into my back from fundamental reasoning today. If there was no fundamental reasoning, the price could have maybe dropped here and then be bought, but not for a big jump. This was good technical analysis with fundamental reasons behind it. That is why it is so good. Also, I encourage you to go to my website. I made a new blog post. It's my website. You can read it out there. It's EliteCurrency.com. And there is a blog post the importance of exits and trade details on cable euro, uh, euro dollar and Australian dollar. I took session recap, not previous but the last 
session recap before this last one which was great so sign in for new recap on Monday we made great pips on last recap and this is what you should read it's very short article on the blog and basically I explained some important things about you and this also has similarity to this webinar it's connected to this webinar because it's a quick resume of what you should concentrate also on price action and general trading so it's it's good to read really so guys this is everything which I had for you today I hope that you will respect this because this will keep you keep your account safe at least and the, the question is why can users so important for Kiwi and Aussie they dropped 150 pips. Kiwi and Aussie are commodity currencies. Commodity currencies are moved by oil also, and that is a line pretty much. It's very important. But my opinion is, as a guy on my Forex Factory thread said, that Australian dollar is pretty much oversold. So we could have some nice counter trend opportunities on Australian dollar. Okay? It's pretty much now oversold so those prices especially dollar cad it's connected to oil movement and by today rate you can see what happened to commodities such as Kiwi and Aussie it's connected but if you're not sure Justinius if you're not sure just watch the correlation table if you're not into fundamental reading just open your MetaTrader 4 Admiral Market Supreme platform and you will see correlation table. If you didn't download MetaTrader 4 Admiral Market Supreme, then I encourage you to do that because you have correlation table out there. Okay, so please pay attention to correlation. Okay. Uh, the question Goran is asking is Euro dollar making its way to 15.15 tonight. It's possible, it's possible, but still I'm not sure because my opinion is that Euro dollar might be bought from 50 to 70 level and it can go tomorrow again to 60.50 just to be sold again if this statement today will be definite statement tomorrow. So tomorrow if we have a definite statement such as this one on ECB movement and quantitative easing, price may spike to 1700. I will be, maybe I will trade that, I will be selling that, and it can go to 1450. So today, I'm not sure I think that it can be bought now. Okay? Okay. So, guys, if you're not into fundamental reading, then just use correlation and you will see why Australian dollar is moving in opposite direction to dollar cat okay it's much easier for you to do it that way okay so guys if you don't have any further questions yeah can you slide again please before end of the webinar yes this is what you should avoid you can snapshot this and just when I, when I, guys go short on every rally on GBP not now I, I would really look to see I would like to see a good rally before tomorrow but I'm not sure if, if it will happen market gave us a huge number of GBP shorts today GBP shorting opportunities but GBP dollar is at the moment short into rallies and it was all this day Centipede weeks, sawtooth, shark tooth aka whipsaw, long candles, railway pattern, but long candles if you don't know how to trade it. If you know how to trade it, then you can trade it. If you don't know how to trade long candles, stay away. If you don't know how to trade railway, stay away. If you know how to trade it, then good. I made a webinar about it. V shape reversal, stay out of it. Okay, and some tips.
So I don't see any question, guys. So I assume everything is clear. Uh, watch the analysis on Admiral Marcus blog. Forex Factory website, Forex Street. I will make my analysis of Euro Dollar possible movement today, and I will tomorrow when I will post it tomorrow. But be very very safe and do not trade if you're not sure what to do. Dollar CAD again. We had 250 and more pips potential today on this analysis, which basically was hit to the pip on POC zone. Thank you guys for listening thank you for support this was the webinar about which market conditions you should avoid I will be making more of these webinars so thanks for support I will hear with you soon trade safe and cheers